everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today, I am so stoked. I'm going to my very first Repticon. What? And I am so excited. Two reasons. I'm going to my very first Repticon. That's right, my very first Repticon, and it's up by Edison, New Jersey which is awesome because it's right next to the fish hut in New Jersey. And look what I have, a gift certificate for fish hut of New Jersey. Thank you, Lisa, crazy cat lady over at KG Tropicals. She gave this to me after the aquatic experience because she doesn't live close. And I kind of live close and I'm headed there now. I am so excited. So I'll take you along with, and you let me know if you like it. My first Repticon. Now I've been to one or two reptile shows, but I've never been to Repticon. <laughs> Look at my little silky. Look at Clementine. What are you doing, baby? Hi. She wants to come out and play. She, she doesn't want to play. She wants to come out and sit on my shoulder all day long, don't you? But I'm going to get you some new roaches. And her, her enclosure is not um, bioactive yet. So it needs some springtails and isopods. My isopods, I used the last of them up when I made the dart frog tank. So I still have a couple cultures of springtails and they're doing very good. And I just noticed that springtails like to swim because in my fire belly toad enclosure, they're in the pool. I'm like, wait, what are you doing in the pool? Get over on the land and do your job, but that's okay. Let's see if sapphire's out, my blue tongue skink. Now, oh, let me tell you, this time of year, it's really sad because they're all sleeping. My tortoise, my, uh, my tortoise Waldo slept for almost seven weeks. So, and I haven't seen the fire skinks, they come out and I see them like slither through, grab some food and go back. And that's it. So, I can't wait for spring to come. <laughs> so I'm headed off, see you in a little bit. So I just parked and I had to park pretty far away and I'm so stoked. I think it's pretty packed. I think it's all pets, but it's Repticon is in here. Uh, I'll let you, uh, I'm gonna bring you along. Let's go take a look. I know it's more than reptiles. I gotta say, Repticon was not what I was expecting. I guess because I go to the local um, reptile shows, I was just really thinking it was like one of those, but like bigger and better and whew. But I think what I attended was Repticon inside this super duper pet expo, which was so awesome. Cause look at some of these dogs that I saw. Oh my gosh, they were just spectacular. And I saw some, so many strange animals like in a little uh, stroller, these little kittens, these little skunks, so cute. And then I also, I saw of course, pigs in a blanket. Who doesn't see pigs in a blanket at a pet expo, huh? <laughs> oh, but they did have a reptilian section. Oh, plus there was dogs and strollers and all kinds of things everywhere. Here's some of the pictures I got, some of the t-shirts I saw. 
some of the shows they were putting on. So it was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. It's just not what I was expecting. But when you first walk in and take a right, that, that whole little alcove was reptiles. And I say little because it was probably less than 10 tables. But one or two of those tables were amazing. So let me show you some of the stuff I picked up because one of the tables was all about bioactive. Hello! So I did get some supplies. I picked up some oak leaves. Now I can wait until, well, I don't have an oak tree. So no, I can't even wait until the snow melts and leaves to come on and fall. So it was worth it for me. I got some live moss. I'm always about the creator, whether it's a YouTube creator, craft creator, as you know, I make miniatures. Somebody made these hammocks, cloth hammocks. Now, let me tell you, I have some big heavy duty rope hammocks that my bearded dragon loves because when she's struggling, she can kind of scrunch up against it with her shed. It's beautiful. But this reptile I have likes to hang around and is so sensitive, I don't want him scratching himself. So, so of course, while I'm at an expo, I had to get some feeders that I don't cultivate myself. So I got little tiny super worms. I got food for my Dubia roach colony because I'm almost out of my food. And yes, I can research this and make my own bestest but right now, this is working great and this will last a long time. And I thought to try this aquatic turtle food. I can't go to a reptile show without getting crickets. So I got 1,000 crickets. There's a hole in here of which they said I could punch out and put in the air hole. And I think I have a plastic round thing to put in there. And then when I need crickets, I'll tap, 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 tap. And I'll put some food in here and some of the hydrating balls in here as we go. So, oh, of course, I got some isopods. And these isopods are powder orange. They will, they will multiply, but this is also infused with springtails, which is amazing. Because I have three enclosures that are not bioactive yet. That Remember that I just set up? And these, if, oh, let me see if I can focus on them so maybe you can see them. These little cutie pies, I'm counting on them. Because, there we go. These are my cleanup crew. Can you see them moving around, little tiny orange? They are my cleanup crew. So I got powder orange. And of course, I got the dwarf purple, which are my favorite. And there's springtails in these as well. Let's see if I move this out of the way, if you can see them. Look how tiny, teeny tiny. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so even though Repticon is not what I thought it was, it was absolutely worth the drive. And I really appreciate you coming along with me. See you next time.